What's up guys, I'm Chris. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the TK1 folding e-bike, e-trike from Mooncool. So this is definitely very different than any product we reviewed here at Half Chrome. So let's get into it and see what it's all about. So before trying this bike, I had some important questions like, is this 50% better than a e-bike with just two wheels? Will I ever ride on two wheels again? Do other dads in the neighborhood uh, suddenly feel inadequate? Now that I have one more wheel than them, we're going to find out. Before we get into specs and performance, uh, let's take a look at how the moon cool goes together. The instructions uh, were not the best, but this isn't a hard bike to put together. Um, it comes quite assembled. The front wheel was a bit of a challenge. Um, again, the instructions didn't mention that these brakes actually have locks. And there was a piece of plastic, you know, which is often put in to protect um, the brakes and it was clamped in there and the brake was locked. It would have been nice if they mentioned that. I spent quite a bit of time trying to get it out before I realized the brake lock. Other than that, putting it together was a breeze. Let's get into some of the specs of this thing. So it starts right now at around $1,699, around $1,700. Uh, so not the cheapest bike, but it is a high quality machine. It has a peak power of 750 watts. At 48 volts, it's clacking in with about uh, 700 watt hours of energy. So if it was drawing full power, it would go about an hour but it isn't usually once you get up to speed. And because of that, you have a 35 to 60 mile range. Um, it peaks out at around 16 miles an hour, which usually I like my e-bikes to go up 20, 25. It's just more fun and of course faster. But with this three wheel trike, I think it's a good speed limit, honestly, because you need to be a little bit careful on the turns. You don't tip this thing over. It has a 350 pound capacity, which is more than enough for most people and whatever they're going to put in the front and back rack. Depending on when you're watching this, pre-orders start shipping in mid-October 2024. Some of the more interesting features, of course, the three wheels. With that comes actually a rear differential, which is important. Otherwise, the wheels would bounce like crazy going around turns. It is a single speed bike, so you aren't shifting gears. Um, so you can pedal up to about... 10 miles an hour or so before you're just kind of freewheeling. So if you're at full throttle um, or if you want to go full 16 miles an hour, you're probably not going to be pedaling. But it is good because if you were to run out of battery, you know, you can still get this thing up hills without being in a super hard gear. It has a horn. It has tail lights, which I always love on e-bikes, and they light up uh, brighter when you hit the brakes. And what's really neat is it actually has blinkers, which is interesting. Wish they were spread out on the wheels, but, you know, it has blinkers. So it feels kind of like a, uh, uh, a golf cart, actually. It has front and rear storage, quite a bit of capacity. I think basically unlimited capacity in the back weight-wise because it's right on the super solid frame there. Um, it has those locking brakes I mentioned, which is nice when you park no kickstand You can park this thing on a hill and it won't roll away as long as you lock the brakes again Reminding me a little bit about like a golf cart it folds. Yeah, but you know I don't know how much you're gonna be using that really that's probably more about making this thing more compact for shipping than anything But maybe it's gonna help you fit it in a slightly smaller space This isn't something you're gonna pick up and put in the back of your minivan every day so some of the pluses of this bike, it fits pretty much everybody. It fits me at six foot two. And as you can see here, my son can also ride it, who is just four feet, seven inches tall. It's great for shopping. So we took it on a target run, uh, loaded it up, did a bit of a dad and kid run. This was not exactly mom's shopping list here. You know, it's good, it, you know, from a cargo standpoint, a lot of these bikes are coming in at over 90 pounds. And so adding more weight uh, with a uh, run to the grocery store can be difficult and challenging to balance the bike with three wheels less of an issue here and plenty of cargo space it's also really good for people who aren't comfortable on two wheels we've been talking to a lot of folks lately who are looking for a bike for their older parent to ride and uh, they're definitely uh, interested in this trike the bike is well built as i mentioned uh, super solid no issues the brakes are strong um, it's a good bike, no complaints at all in terms of how it functions. Finally, as long as you know the trick about unlocking the brake, it is very easy to put this together, quicker than most e-bikes. Now some of the cons, what are the, some of the downsides of this e-trike? Well, the high center of gravity 
and the feel of being on a trike and super stable is actually a bit of a psych out for a lot of people, including me sometimes. Uh, it just feels weird not being able to lean and it's like having your training wheels back on and if it can be an issue. My son just totally psyched himself out. He has no problem driving around a uh, little go-kart like a crazy person, but something about sitting up on a bike and having that style of steering and having your center of gravity fairly high uh, just kind of messes with your head a little bit. And sometimes you're leaning when you shouldn't be and you get a little uncomfortable with the steering. So it takes some getting used to and it's something to consider. Uh, as I mentioned, the instructions could have been a little bit better, but it wasn't hard to put together. Uh, another downside is, well, depending on how you feel about how you look in the world, well, you look a little bit like a dork on this trike. Um, doesn't bother me too much, but, you know, this isn't the coolest looking ride on three wheels. So who is this for? I think this is really for people who are not super comfortable on bikes anymore. Um, getting on and off bikes, for example, can be a challenge, or dealing with a heavy e-bike can be a real challenge for some folks. So this could be a great option for them. Also for shoppers, as I mentioned, um, having those three wheels, making this thing stable, easy to load and unload uh, on three wheels. If you're looking to shop or haul some stuff, this is a really interesting option for you. It's definitely not for speed demons with a max speed of 16 miles an hour, and uh, it's not for people who like lean, leaning into their turns or having a ton of fun on their bikes. In conclusion, if you're looking for a trike, this is absolutely a great option. This bike is super solid. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll check you out next time here on Half Chrome.